Welcome to Travel Services with Masejo. My name is Masejo and in this video we are going to be discussing Kahaya terminology. If you find this video helpful, please give it a huge thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and share to help a fellow tourism student. Please note this video is based on the TVET syllabus for students studying towards a national certificate in tourism. Notes, textbooks, slides, and previous question papers can be found on the future managers on the future managers website, which will be linked down in the description box. So under car hire terminologies, we are going to be looking at some of the important terminologies that help us calculate the car hire amount. So we are going to be looking at the 24 hour period, the delivery and collection fees, one way rental fees, insurance, tourism levy, contract fees, and other charges. So starting with the 24 hour period, the 24 hour period is the minimum, the minimum amount of time that we can calculate car hire for so this 24 hours will then represent one day and whether you are going to be taking the car for two hours or three hours or a full day they will calculate it according to 24 hour intervals starting at the time of pickup so the time of pickup is very important when when it comes to calculating car hire then when you calculate this 24 hours you use um, the time of pickup so if you if you hire out the car on Monday at 9 a.m. your first 24 hour interval will end on Tuesday at 9 a.m. then the second interval will start um, and end on Wednesday at 9 a.m. So for each interval, you will have to charge the client the specific rate that you will see in your handout. Then when this interval, should this interval end, this 9 o'clock end and the client has not brought, brought the car back we can charge the client a no-show fee or we can charge the client an extra um day we can add another 24 interval to their rental because they uh, brought the car um back late but before we add we're going to look at the grace period so the car rental company understands that things happen things happen and because things happen um, they give you an hour an hour as part of your grace period to allow you to bring back the car before they add another day onto your rental so the grace period can be applied to pick up and drop off. For pick up, they usually give you a grace period of 30 minutes to an hour to two hours at most um, for them before they give out the car to someone else who is more serious about life. <laughs> um, and then you have your delivery and collection. Delivery and collection can work according to how how your schedule is or how flexible you are and your ability to get to the kiosk so um you do need to consider the following factors when dealing with car hire and working hours 
so the working hours are monday to friday from 8 30 a.m until 6 6 um p.m and then monday to friday um six after 6 p.m onwards is considered after hours so for people who come in to pick up or drop off the cars after hours we will charge them a small fee for that convenience of picking up and dropping off after hours when there's no one in the office and then this of course applies to the offices that are located maybe downtown um in the cbd where the kiosks are not always open in airports as long as there are flights usually they will you will find a kiosk open then we have insurance so with insurance you have your standard insurance and then you have your super insurance the two types of insurance have to do with just how far um your insurance company will go in helping you should your um insurance should your car get stolen or you get into an accident or whatever so the standard insurance is also known as the normal cover uh, or the limited cover um and then here you will find that a client will pay a premium that is much lower and then bears the larger risk that a base risk that if something happens to the car um whether it gets stolen or it gets into an accident or whatever the case might be then the client will then be liable for 90 percent of the damage that might happen to the car um this of course means they will pay a higher access fee and then the super waiver on the other hand you pay a higher premium at reduced significantly lower responsibility should anything happen to the car and then of course yes it means you will also pay a lower access fee um both these in these two types of insurances cover your theft loss waiver and your collision damage waiver this is insurance for the car over and above the insurance for the car you need to also take insurance for yourself as the driver personal accidental insurance should also be taken out and it's going to be um, charged separately from the insurance of the car then after you deal with the insurance you will then have to um, deal with other charges the other charges which is the tourism levy a tourism levy of one percent is charged on all tourism products so in cases where the levy is not charged you will have to calculate the one percent of the um total fare calculation so that you can see how much your tourism levy is going to be and then you have your contract fee your contract fee will also be included um at the end of your at the bottom of your handout or at in your scenario in your car hire scenario they will include a rate for a contract fee um, and then other charges can include but not limited to your car seats your additional drivers car accessories um, and so on and so forth after you have applied all of these terminologies you will then have to calculate your commission to calculate your commission we have to um, remember that you are not allowed to charge commission on that so the first thing that you are going to do when you um the first thing that you're going to do when you charge your commission as a travel agent is remove that from that car hire calculation so uh to calculate vat you're going to uh calculate 15 percent of the total amount of the car rental and then that will give you what your vat is the the 
formula here you can follow this formula here then after you have calculated the vat and you know how much your vat is you will then remove the vat from the actual car hire amount so the total car hire amount you will then uh remove the vet so you will um follow this formula here then this formula the total um rental amount minus vet will give you your net amount this is the amount that you will then calculate your commission on and to calculate your commission you simply look for 10 percent of the net amount that you just calculated so 10 percent is 10 over 100 times that net amount it will then give you your commission we have come to the end of this session please share your thoughts and questions below remember to like the video subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and share to help a fellow tourism student till the next session Bye, guys.